Hello, fans and famettes, welcome to 2019, and welcome to a Chaos Cards Order. Yay, boxes. I'm not sponsored by them. Chaos Cards, please sponsor me. Please. I need it for my, for my gloves. I don't even know if you can get, I, I assume you can get spawned by them. So, what do we have here? Well, we've got singles. Got a couple packs of Eternal Relic Tokens, a new set, because they're pretty damn cool. Uh, since they're on offer, i got three Steam Siege, Pokemons, and most interestingly of all, I have the Gate Crash Intro Pack for Grawl. Now, there's a bit of a story behind Gate Crash, because Gate Crash was the set I basically first started playing Magic with. Um, because I bought the other Intro Pack for that, which was the Orzhov one. And boy, was that fun. X-Tort. X-Tort, guys. Amazing. I think... This is the lesser of the two intro packs because I don't know whether it was in competitive scene or whatever, but in my experience, Blood Rush was a bit of a eh mechanic. A bit of a meh. It was like, <laughs> it just wasn't as good. It's not constant like X stored on your abilities and you know, like evolve. It's just, you can discard this to turn it into an instant, basically. Kind of. That doesn't even really do that much for the fact that, one, you have to discard a card, two, the amount of mana you usually have to pay for them. But I'd be best. Um, so we will begin with the singles, because, singles. So, and as is normally the case with these singles packs, I don't know where they get these from, whether they're custom made or whatever, but they're so useful. So, starting off, we have Burb Tokens, um, because my Populate deck needs them. I think these are f from, I think, Return to, they're from, I think, one of the Ravnica sets. There's three of those, uh, Eldrazi Sions, because I don't have enough Eldrazi Sions. Uh, an Elemental, because I need it for some decks. Uh, some Soldiers, because I need them for my Boros, uh, Guild deck. And some 4-4 Beasts, because those are for Commander, because... Um, that has like maybe two or three four four beasts in it, and that landfall beast that the deck comes with, if you know what you're doing, can produce three of these like in a turn. Yeah. So it's like, ah, uh, I need more of those tokens. Um, well, tokens are pretty inexpensive, so. And I was like getting the right tokens. Um, we have Young Pyromancer from Ultimate Masters. Two copies of that because. And every cat is able to create a 1 1 elemental quick token. That's just great in pure red burr. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a two cost enchantment, basically. Um, that gives you a defense for your red deck. Well, I'm not sure, is that, kind of looks like Chandra, but I know it's not Chandra. It's like a boy Chandra. Uh, we have two missed, fucking hell. From Ultimate Masters again to Misfile Planes. Um, these will go in my Ajani Life Gain deck because most of the deck is pure white. So I want pure white lands that do stuff. Plus they're counting as, the plus they count as a plane, so if you need to search for an effect that says planes or something that cares about planes, like those double color lands that say if you control come to the tab unless you control an X or Y. So that's that. Um, Holographic Gather Courage from one of the Ravnica, that might be the original Ravnica set, um, because that can be found in the Selesnia Guild Kit. Uh, Demir Guild Mage, two of those, bit, these are a bit bent. Uh, these are the promos, I believe, as designated by the how shiny they are. Also quite cheap, surprisingly, but again, uh, those are from the Demir sets. Uh, guild kit deck, uh, Selesnia Guild Mage, two Is It Boiler Works for the Is It One, again surprisingly cheap, uh, Bomber Corpse, Core, uh, Warped Physique, that's in a different color sleeve for some reason, um, Wall of Mist, again these are all like in decks, Price of Fame, Wojcik Bodyguard, uh, Pax Favor, Hammer Dropper, 
Sky Knight Legionnaire, a card I actually really like the artwork of anyway. Uh, Boris Guildgate, the Golgari Charm from Ultimate Masters, because the other Golgari Charm is actually kind of expensive. Uh, Seeker of Dawe. <laughs> um, that's for my Enchanted deck, because I already have a normal one of those, and I wanted to replace with the promo, because it's shiny. And Demir Charm, because again, a promo, cheap, and it will go in the Demir deck. I'm just shinifying stuff, which is also why I have sort of companions. I got that on an eBay thing today. That'll go in the Boros deck. Uh, next up, we'll open up a token, a token. I've been looking forward to these since the set dropped. <gasps> my, my God. Um, so we have an ooze. So, not one I was after, but oozes are kind of used. Oh, they have a top thing now as well for loyalty, I guess. Or plus and plus ones or something, I don't know. Ooh, or poison counters, I guess, maybe. Uh, we have vampire. I, oh, I get it, so there's like the number of them. So you can go up to like nine and then have their power toughness down here. Okay, but we got a foil merfolk token. I've never actually gotten a foil token before. Oh my god, it's so shiny. God, a foil ass token. And the vampire token's really important because I'll probably use that as a life counter in my black white deck. Sorry, a bit of pop tart. I'm eating a pop tart at the same time. Um. Oh yeah, that's a little thing. Now I'll tell you the ones I really, really want, what I really, really want after I open these. Um, so we've got. Another Merfolk. We got Karn, and we got the Karn token, which I presume is one of the rarer ones, because it's Planeswalker. So we got Karn, which is the cover card. Uh, I got a Merfolk, to got our other Merfolk. And an Elf Warrior, which is one of the ones I did actually want. Um, but if we look at our little listicles here, the ones I really wanted from this were the Thopter, which is there, um... The Elemental, which is there for red decks, like Andrews. Uh, the Demon one. The Burb would have been nice, but I've got Burbs now. Um, poison would have been alright. The Liliana one would be alright. Um, the Worm one would have been useful for the Selesnia. Um, and the Sapling in particular is one I wanted, because that Selesnia deck makes so many fucking Saplings. It's unbelievable, sometimes. So yeah, so Liliana... There's actually two different versions of the Liliana you can get, which is hilarious. But the Liliana and Karn one seem to be like the chase. But yeah, there's actually pretty cool ones. Also, you can get dinosaurs, pirates, and stuff. And there's the two different types of worm. One of which is. I wonder where the lifelink worm comes from. That's an interesting thing I've never seen. Um, but yeah, I'm actually kind of happy with that. You know, I've got two of the ones that I've got. Three of the ones that I really wanted, which is Karn for my, um, which is for my, uh, artifact deck, because I actually have a Karn in that. Not that Karn, the original Karn, which is ridiculously good, but the Dominaria Karn. Uh, the Vampire one is actually kind of useful, because I will probably use that as a life counter in my Horus Half deck. I like using deck specific life counters, okay? Um, and the Elf Warrior, because, reasons. And Merfolk is kind of a cool, I mean, it's just a shiny. That's probably me trade fodder or something, probably like the Liliana one or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we'll go into a different card game entirely. We'll open our three Steam Seeds. And hope and pray that we get something good. Please give me my damn Xerneas break after all these years. Uh, Nuzleaf, Guard of War, Clef I mean, I can't even play in Stand anymore, which was the reason I built the deck. But I still want to damn make it, God damn it. Yanma, Chimchar, Big Might, Clauncher, Reverse Holography Pokemon Ranger, and Book Boy. <laughs> um, the Ranger's cool, but I have a full art of that, so I don't really give shit. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, we have Fletchinder, another Ranger, Tangrowth, and then gives a shit. Little tiny Book Boy. Mantine, Clink, Gears of uh, Ponyta, Ponyard, 
Reverse Holographic Clink, and a Mega Steel X EX, which I think I actually have plenty of. Well, I might, I might, I might be able to run that much Steel Deck. I, don't know. I think I've got the full art of it somewhere. But that's cool. That's cool and good. That's neat. That's lit. I guess. <clears throat> Can't believe I just said that. Freaking lit. Ugh. So, one nice thing, but it's still Nazernius. Uh, they were like really cheap, they were like two pound a pack, so I was like, oh god, I'll get some of those. Persian, Claw Fossil, Skip, Skip, Skip Bloom, I, my voice is gone at the moment, so I can't do my funny high-pitched voice. Probably good for the best, actually. Meowth, Bonita, Tiny Boob, my Vesta. I swear to god, this game is taunting me. I, I... I'm visibly angry right now. Freaking Pyro Break. It's not even the good one. I mean, yes, it does 180 damage, but it does 50 to itself. I, I want the cute one. I want the fairy boy. Everyone wants the fairy boy. And an Avalok. I thought because the code card wasn't the, um, the you have a rare dot exe card. I thought, oh, this is it. No, it's just like to fucking taunt me. I hate you! So mean to me. Um, anyway, so we got... So we got two chase cards, I guess. Um, in time, when the game expanded. Might be worth something. But yeah. So we're opening the Grol Goliath deck thing here. I like how it's great. The insert is green. Um, down there. So... We'll have a look at the deck first, and then open the two Great Gate Crash Boosters, which is the main reason I went for this, because getting Gate Crash Boosters by themselves is pretty expensive. And you can, and because it's in a deck pack set, I think it's a lot harder to weigh as well. I mean, it's probably not impossible, but it's... So I'm going to guess one of the cards that I'm going to get in this deck is going to be Ruination Worm. I think that was from that set. So, the foil is Rubble Hulk. I'm guessing this is like. Promo. <coughs> <coughs> um, it's a 6 cost elemental, parent toughness equal amount of land you control. Okay. Uh, you can pay 3 in Grawl colors, and a 1. Uh, discard it, and tag you control gets XX to land return where X and the land you control. See, that's not a bad. It's probably the best blood rush you're ever gonna see. <coughs> Because at least it gives a significant boost. Bearing in mind, red green is a, isn't, a, isn't a typing known for its revivalness. Sorry, it's for its yeah. Uh, Foundry Street Denison. And for another red creature in the battlefield, gets plus one plus zero to another turn. And unless you're running four of those and then just spamming them on the field and giving one of them haste, what's the point? Uh, Arbor Elf, which is. A weird version of Llanowar Elves. A uh, skin brand goblin. So you can blood rush this for one to give an angry to plus two plus one on their turn. So? There are better one cost instants or sorceries that you could play over this. Sure, it's a two, and it's only a two one for two if you play it. It's not good. Uh, Disciple of the Old Ways. Uh, it's a 2 2. It's a, a grizzly bear that can gain first strike if you pay gr if you pump some red into it. I have two of those. A uh, Scar Guild Mage. This is brilliant because um, in you can pay two to give creature control trample and turn that in turn. It's usually like a 3 4 cost effect. I mean, I know there's an enchantment that gives me 2 plus 2 plus 2 and trample on an enchantment for 3. This just says, ah, fuck it, everything gets trampled, fuck you. And it can turn lands to elementals as well. This deck does a lot with lands. Uh, Centaur Courser, it's just a 3-3 three, three for 3. Slaughterhorn, um... This is not so bad, you can play one green to discard it. Time card, tagging which get plus 3 plus 2 in the other turn. That's not so bad, because you wouldn't probably find a plus 3 plus 2 effect on it, no sorcery. I suppose. And it's... A 3-2 for 3, which is still not optimal, but it's okay. Uh, Vishiano, Shanktail, 
Um, four cost, first strike, blood rush for three, uh, given tank with plus three plus one at the first turn of turn. So that's not so bad, because it gives it an additional effect. And you get two of those. Uh, we have Primal Hunt Beast. Four cost, three, three hexproof. Actually pretty damn good. Uh, Scab Clan Charger, four cost, blood rush. Two, gets up something, plus two, plus four. Again, terrible. Uh, Gore Clan Rampager. It has trample. You pay two in Grow Colors. Discard it. Trample Rampage. You get plus four plus four against Trample in a turn. That's... Uh, things like that are just way better. Things like that are actually good bombs. Because you can put it in play for four, which is a four, 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 four. Or you can go, this becomes... Just... This eat Something eats this. And becomes that. Uh, Fire Elemental, which is trash. Uh, we have Zuratar Swine. Five cost, five four, Blood Rush for three. Discard, Tiger Tiger Magic, Degree Tree gets plus five, it's four in the line of turn. Again, the amount of cost that you're paying, which is three in Grawl Colors. You could probably just cast a couple of instant sorceries that will give you that and some additional effects. And it's only a five four for five in two colors. Um, Zuratar Swine again. We have Rip Scale Predator, six cost lizard. Uh, can't be blocked except by two more creatures. See, that's all right, and that is the sort of thing, the sort of thing you, you want to put a blood rush effect on. Yeah, hey, there we go, Renation Worm. It's a seven six for six, which is I used to use this in because I made my own Goral deck with four copies of Frenzied Tilling and just four copies of this and some ramp, and it was actually surprisingly devastating. There's a lot you can do with Renation Worm. Um, because you could run, um, the one I said before about 4-4 Trample, making this an 11-11 Trampler. That was the strap. So that, that's when Blood Rush was alright. But, uh, unlike, say, Extort, there's not much overall synergy you could do. You, it's just big creatures. That's it. Big, dumb, dumb creatures. You get two copies of that. Duskdale Worm, 7 cost with Trample for 7. Again, it's that high cost that you're never going to be able to play this, especially in a deck like this, which doesn't really have a ramp. Um, seven cost Grawl Rage Beast. It's a rare. It's a six six. Whenever it or some another creature ends the battlefield under control, that creature fights another creature. Target creature defend controls. See, I think um, I think that actually triggers stuff like Trample, so that's good. But again, it's a seven cost in a deck that doesn't ramp. Uh, Grawl Guildgate though. Which is suddenly going to become a lot cooler given that the new set will be out soon. Um, you only get, you only get one copy of Grawl Guildgate, really? I do love that artwork though, that very tribal artwork. And you get some like lands. It's funny because none of the mountains that I've seen from various different sets picture Grawl. It's always Rakdos or or also whatever. Uh, is it? Yeah, I think Rakdos Boris is it. I think I'm missing one. No, yeah, Rakdos. Boris, Rakdos, is it? And then Gruel, isn't it? Yeah. And like most of. I think some of your forests and that do show off the Gruel, but most of it's Selesnia or Golgari. Well, luckily, they give you a good range of um, colors in the uh, artworks in these lands. There, we have Alpha Authority, which is an enchantment. Enchanted creature has X proof, can't be blocked by more than one creature. Fucking fantastic! Two cost gives a creature hex proof. That's the kind of card that is make make Grawl great. But just in general, in fact, I think most people use it on the Selesnya deck. Just boom, fuck you. Convoted into play, and now it's hexproof and, and can't be blocked by my own creature. And that's good on something that you that has trample. A uh, pit fight, which is in hybrid mana, so it could be used in anything. Uh, target you control fights another target creature. Two costs there, but it's in two different colors. This gives a fight power to red, which it doesn't normally have. So that that's that's where that's good. Uh, Grand Assault, two cost sorcery, 
deals damage to target creature equal number of lands you control. Again, would probably do well in that landfall deck, that commander landfall deck. Just, oh, I have 15 lands. Boom. I mean, in a, in a deck like that, that is a kill spell for two. In a deck, in a deck, how well, two colors that don't normally have a, de a kill spell. Uh, Gwal Kirun, which might appear in Gwal's, um, clan deck. Uh, Predator's Report, broken as fuck. I say this because, to your target to control, you gain life equal to that creature's power plus its toughness. There are several things that you can exploit with this. Voracious Worm, after you've gained, say, a lot of life already. Or, you play it after you've played this. Sarah Avatar, whose power and toughness is equal to the amount of life you have. Or Johnny's Pride Mate, where you stand it upon the field enough and you've got, you know, it's a 2022 20, amount of triggers you've done. So you, with that case, you can gain like 40 life for 3 mana, and then put into play Voracious Worm for 2 mana. Voracious Worm gains the amount of power and toughness, is plus one plus ones, equal to the amount of life you've gained. Which is, in the case of this, is going to be a lot. Uh, Elsa Verdant Haven is alright, um, enchants the land. Basically doubles the amount of power of land, but it's not really a ramp card. Ranger's Path, 4 cost, search your library for 2 of a forest, put them into the library, battlefield attack, which is your library. They should have had 2 copies of that instead of Verdant Haven. And Volcanic Geyser, deals like damage target creature player. It's not great, Fireball is literally better. I suppose it might not have been in that set, or that rotation of standard. But it is kind of a, okay, kill spell, or okay, finish my opponent off in the one more life. It's not a bad deck, but I think the Orisov deck was just better knitted together. Uh, and plus control decks are just straight up better than dumb big creatures most of the time. But we have Gatecrash, so we have Metropolis Sprite, oh god, fairies. Um, it's a one, it's a one, two flying for two, and you can give it plus one, minus one, so then turn with one blue. Angelic Edict, perfect card, exile target with your enchantment for five. As a common, brilliant. I used to run this in all, my old, in my old deck, because, oh. Yeah, you could just get rid of their biggest threats. Uh, Devour Flesh, two cost, start player sacrifice this creature, then gains a lot of people that creature's toughness. Uh, Predator's Report, yes! Actually, I'm happy to get one of those. Uh, Wojcik Halberdiers. Battalion, when at least two, they or two other creatures attack. This gets first strike. Until end of turn. It's also a 3 2 for 2. Granted, it's in Boris Colors, but a 3 2 for 2 with an ability. Look, can I get first strike? Is crazy. Uh, we have Mortis Strider, so that's a Demir card. And it dies for its owner's hand. Basically, just never dies. And it's a spooky, scary skeleton. Uh, Sage's Rare Denizen. Uh, Razor Tip Whip. Madcap Skills. You turn to Great Chicken's plus three Bazoo and can be blocked except by two more creatures. Isn't that Domery? Or is that, uh, a guy from Mike Dose? But yeah, again, plus three plus zero. Boom. Uh, we have Death's Approach. Turn to Great Chicken's X plus X minus X minus X. World X is the number of creature cards. Controls Graveyard. Kill spell. Uh, we have Elusive Crisis. Unblockable Evolving Creature. It is a 0 4. <laughs> That's why I love the Simic. And again, a constant ability. Ability that always matters. Unlike Blood Rush, which is just the then and gone. Uh, we have Rapid Hybridization. One cost. Um. Destroy target creature can't be regenerated. That creature's control puts a 3 3 green frog lizard creature token onto the battlefield. If they've got something really massive, you can just. or that has a dangerous ability, you just go, fuck you. Get a frog, bitch. Uh, we have Undercity Informer, 3 cost, human rogue. Uh, you can pay 1, sacrifice a creature, target player, reveals cards, offers you to a library, and she reveals a land card, and puts those cards in his or her graveyard. Love effect. So this is where this is the version of the mirror which was arguably the best. And now that we have you know control the mirror as well, if you're playing um, modern mirror, 
quite scary what you can do with it, because half of it can be ridiculous levels of mill. <coughs> I mean, this, and there's like this insect creature that has that whenever you cast a spell. Craziness. And you can do that as many times as you want, as long as you control creatures. Uh, and, oh god, Mystic Genesis, this is a card I used to run as well. Counter target spell, put an XX, ooze creature token on the battlefield, where X that creature spells convert mana costs. The amount of times I would play that against a red player that was playing like a red ramp, and they would just play a massive ass kill spell. And I would just go, fuck you. Uh, that was until I, until they learned, you know, you don't do that sort of shit to a blue player. And a mountain, which is cool. And we didn't get a token this time. That's okay. It's okay, it's fine. I don't mind. I would like to token, but I don't, I don't mind. Where's the other pet? Ah, there. Uh, so we have Scatter Arc, an it card. Counter target non creature spell into a card. Eh. Structural collapse six cost. Target player sacrifices an artifact and a land, and then they take two damage. Eh. Another edict. Shadow Alley Denizen. Never another black creature in the battlefield. Target creature gains a terminate to end of turn. It's pretty good. Uh Shamble Shark. What? Sorry, it's a fish crab. And that's flash and evolve and you can pellet it for two I'm sorry, that's just funny. It was just <laughs> fish crab. Thanks. Uh, Primal Visitation. Chen Creature gets plus three plus two and has haste. That's terrible. Five cost? Who's playing that for three plus three plus three and haste? God. Uh, another Razor Tip Whip. Uh, Madcap Skills. Another Death's Approach. Balustrade Spy. Shpi. Uh, Nance Battlefield. Target player reveals cards from Zero. Top of Zero. Lively Rear of the Land. Puts the cards in his Zero Graveyard. Lovely. Um, we have Dinner of a Horror, which is actually in the Is It Guild Kit, in the Is It Demir Guild Kit. And it's about fear return target and permanent to his hand, and then the player discards a card. The amount of times I've done this, where my opponent has had nothing in their hand, and just gone, Technically a kill spell, fuck you. Um, it's not great, because it's a 6 cost 4 4, but it's still funny. Um,. We have Holy Mantle, 4 cost. Chant Creature gets plus 3 plus 2 and has the protection from creatures. Sorry, what? <laughs> protection from creatures? Okay. Uh, Homing Lightning, 4 cost, 4 damage target creature and each other creature with the same name as that creature. It's weird. I can see that being used against a token spam deck though. Particularly one that has, you know, say creates a bunch of centaurs or like big creatures tokens. You just go, fuck you, they're all dead. And High Priest of Penance, which is one of the main cards I used to run. Uh, whenever it is dealt damage, you may destroy target non-land permanent. So the idea was, you enchant this with something like Holy Mantle, or something big, makes it bigger, and you would just intentionally damage it. Because you can destroy anything. Fucking anything with it. It was beautiful. It was just so ridiculous. Uh, and we have a sweep. And no token. But that was fun. That was fun. Mostly to reminisce. Mostly. D20 foil. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video here. This has been Kelly Jack's. Like, this has been... Murder the Gurderer. And... Cast cards in order and stuff. And still not getting his earnings spray. That's fine. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, cut, and all that good jazz. See you guys next video. Bye bye for now.